Welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, Minister for Lands and Natural Resources Samuel Abdullah Jinapo has said the appeal to community reconstruction project will commence by July this year. He added that it formed part of President Nana Dunkwa Kufuado's initiative to construct green communities across the country. He said an estimated amount of 70 million Ghana cities will be needed for the project. Amounts might rise due to inflation. Meanwhile, two people have been left injured following an alleged dynamite blast at Santa Maria in Accra. It is still unknown what triggered the incident, but residents in the area say they are living in fear. The explosion is said to have happened around 3 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. Member of Parliament for North Tongue has called on Parliament to initiate processes to remove Finance Minister Ken Ufuriata from office. Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa said this has become necessary due to his supervision of some funds that were released towards the construction of the National Cathedral. Ghana is currently experiencing three different disease outbreaks, namely COVID-19, influenza A, H3N2, and monkeypox disease, stated by the Ghana Health Service. According to the GHS, although control measures have been put in place to curb the outbreaks, it has advised the public to stay alert to ensure the health system is not overwhelmed. In business, the Ghana Statistical Service has attributed the high inflation rates for May 2022 to the increase in transport fares and surging food prices to 27.6% from 23.6% in April 2022. According to the government statistician Professor Kwamina Enim, the rate of inflation for transport 39%, household equipment and maintenance 33.8%, House and water, gas and electricity 32.3% and food and non-alcoholic beverages 30.1.6% were higher than the national average 27.6%, a trend that can affect interest rates rise if not kept. The World Bank is warning Ghana and some African countries against the widened credit spread and weakened currencies. The Bretton Woods 2022 institution report said the tightening of monetary policy to combat rising inflation is necessary in several sub-Saharan African economies, including Ghana. However, the World Bank has affirmed Ghana's gross domestic product growth of fourth question tick. However, the World Bank has affirmed Ghana's gross domestic product growth of 5.5% in 2022. On the global front, more than 2,000 confiscated motorcycles have been crashed in Nigeria's biggest city, Lagos, following a ban on its operations known as Okada Business. The move comes following the lynching of a man by suspected riders last month, which sparked outrage. The ban has had a mixed reaction from local residents, but state authorities have indicated their commitment to ensuring the law is enforced. Still on the global front, a courthouse in New York was closed for fumigation on Tuesday after hundreds of cockroaches were released during an altercation that broke out during proceedings. The clash broke out during proceedings in Albany City Court for four people for an arrest at the state capitol with a defendant who started to film the courtroom proceedings was told to stop but in the process unleashed hundreds of cockroaches brought into the courthouse in plastic containers. The bag released was being investigated while the courthouse was closed for the rest of the day for fumigation. In sports, the Ghanaian was hugely a popular figure at the Combam training ground in his role as academic kit man, always going about his work with an infectious smile and wonderful positivity. According to the official statement, he will be sadly missed by all blue fans following a sudden demise. Eric joined Chelsea FC in April 2013 and his presence and personality have proven integral to the values of the academic culture and was a constant character on the sidelines during his time with the club. Still in sports, Ghana forward Jordan Ayew has signed a one-year contract extension with English Premier League side Crystal Palace. Ayew, 30, who joined Palace on a permanent deal in May 2019 after a loan from Swansea a year earlier, will now be at the club until summer 
2023, Ayu has made 133 appearances for the club and became a key member of coach Patrick's Vieira squad. The Crystal Palace player of the season in 2019-2022 made 34 appearances with 3 goals and 3 assists this season as Palace finished 12th in the 2021-2022 EPL campaign. In entertainment, reggae dancehall musician Stoneboy has helped a level 400 university student settle his final year fees. In a tweet by the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology student, Stoneboy is said to have sent him 1,500 Ghana cities where Julius Mensah had talked about being a die hard fan of B Nation but in dire need of money for fees. Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Marco Krikumante, has revealed that his outfit is engaging a team at the Tyler Perry Studios on the possibility of building a film studio in Ghana. This comes after a delegation from the Ghana Investments Promotion Center in a tour visited Tyler Perry Studios in the US, used the opportunity to engage with a team from his camp to consider Ghana in their next line of action.